parables from nature. A parable, what is it? Well, it's a little story with a lot of truth in it. An earthly story with a heavenly meaning. The story you're about to be told reminds us of a parable that Jesus told. A parable that teaches us a very special lesson about God. Bootsy the Lamb. This is Bootsy. Soft, woolly Bootsy. He's a very favorite friend of a little girl named Judy. I'm the little girl named Judy. Bootsy and I are always together, no matter where I go or what I do. Judy's mother is always busy. She's so good and kind and always there to help. Like the time when Bootsy was lost. Judy was in her nighty and all ready for bed, but she couldn't find her little lamb. Mommy, what will I do? I can't find Bootsy anywhere. And I've looked everywhere. Really, I have. Judy looked under the bed, and no Bootsy. This was the last place in the room to look. Mommy, I need to find Bootsy. And now I don't know where he could be. Have you looked too? Her mother looked all over the house. But Bootsy was nowhere to be found. Suddenly, she had an idea. Think hard, honey. When you were playing at Anne's house today, did you have Bootsy with you? Judy thought and thought. Maybe I did, but I'm honestly not sure. When I started home, I had two storybooks, my roller skates, and Bootsy. It was an awful armful. Do you suppose I dropped him? Oh. Judy just couldn't remember. Judy, dear, you have so many toys. Why don't you take this dolly to bed with you tonight? Then we'll see if we can't find the little lamb in the morning. Judy hadn't heard a word her mother had said. Instead, she was listening to the rain outside. Mommy, look! It's raining! It's raining! Oh dear, what will we do now? What if Bootsy is out there? Oh, Mommy, if Bootsy is out there in the rain, he'll get all cold and very wet. Please, let's go find him, please. Then Judy's mother did a very wonderful thing. She smiled at Judy and said, If you love Bootsy that much, we'll go look for him. We'll have to hurry, though. As quick as a wink, they were ready. Judy had never dressed so fast. Raincoat, boots, umbrella, mittens, and, oh yes, a flashlight. At the door, Judy's mother said, now, dear, try very hard to remember exactly which way you walked home from Anne's. And we'll look along the way. Come on, Mommy. It's this way. It's real short. Down the hill. Oh, dear, let's hurry. They looked everywhere, but no Bootsy. Judy wasn't satisfied, though. She just knew that her little lost lamb was out there somewhere, and she wanted to find him. Then Judy stopped short. Look, Mommy. Look. It's Bootsy. Oh, it is Bootsy. Oh, Mommy, I knew we'd find him. I just knew we'd find him. Mommy, just think. He was out there all alone in the rain. Let's hurry and take him home where it's nice and dry. There you are, Judy. He's all nice and dry again. Say, little girl, it's way past your bedtime. And Bootsy's, too. Judy was so happy. And as she wrapped a little blanket around him, she said, There you are, you funny little lamb. 
You'd better keep that around your neck so you won't catch cold. Isn't this wonderful? You're not lost anymore, and I'm so glad you're home. Well, Judy dear, you've had quite a time. Remember now, it's getting late. It's time to say your prayers. And we have so much to be thankful for, haven't we? Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray you, Lord, my soul to keep. Your love be with me through the night. And wake me with the morning light. Amen. That's wonderful, Judy. Wait, Mommy. There's something else. Dear God, Bootsy was so lost, and now he's home again. Oh, thank you for helping me find him. Amen again, dear Lord. I'm sure God is pleased with your prayer, Judy, because, you see, he loves little children and grown-ups, too, just as truly as you love your little lamb. You know... What happened today reminds me of a story Jesus told about a little lamb that was lost from the flock. There was once a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. One night, as he brought them into the fold, he missed one. He counted them again, and there were only 99. Did he find him, Mommy? Did he find him? Like we found Bootsy? Yes, dear. He certainly did. After looking for a long time, the shepherd heard the little lost lamb bleating in the distance. He ran to the rocks, and there it was. It had fallen and couldn't get out of the briars. And did the shepherd fix his scratches and help him home? Yes, Judy. The shepherd carried him home safely to the fold. Now, Jesus told this story to teach us that God loves us and cares for each one of us, just as the Good Shepherd loved and cared for each one of his sheep. Mommy, shh, look at Bootsy. He's asleep. Yes, dear. And I know someone else who's just about to fall asleep, too. Good night, dear. Good night.